We'll settle our way back there. We should also drop by the Quickie Mart and buy ourselves some new big Magnum ammo as well. Those look like pretty big, sturdy iron gates. I'm kind of wondering how just some simple zombies would be able to smash those downs. That seems pretty suspicious to me. Unless they're super zombies. Which is probably pretty unlikely. Mm -hmm. So little traffic in this side of town. Knock, knock. Gehenna, so the kindred say, will presage the end of the world as vampires and mortals alike are consumed in an inexorable tide of blood. Special me. Nobody to fall asleep next to? Go ahead and bowl the radio into bed. That's what I'm here for. And hey, why don't you call me sometime? Area code 323 KL5 KTRK. Looks like somebody's been waiting in the queue quite a while to speak to yours truly. Oh, you don't have rifle ammo? Why aren't you asleep? Oh, that's uh, sad. Insects. Insects. As in you have an insect problem, or chirping crickets are keeping you up, or you have nightmares about them. Oh, I can carry a lot more. Holy crap, look at that damage potential. Yeah, that's the stuff right there. Ah, but it's, uh... Single round per shot. Help me out here. Oh, no, no, no. Don't you know? Single round in the magazine. Or rather, there wouldn't even be a magazine. There would just be the chamber. One bullet would go in it, and that's it. But, uh, it's a rifle. Our first one, too. Yeah, I very much doubt old Princey Pants is going to be happy about... Not Prince. Baron Pants is going to be very happy about this, but we'll see. Knock, knock. You made good time. Hand me the item. Hmm... Well, I would say it's already in your hand. I didn't doubt you'd find this. And I apologize if I was overly imperious before. A reflex action. I get a lot of young blood in here for getting their place. I'll assist you as reasonably as I can with your task. But first... I'm in a hurry to find out what's behind all the hype, so get comfortable. I do have a feeling that whatever's here may be of use to both of us, however. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That doesn't look natural. Ew. more disturbing than I was led to believe. You can understand my concern now, can't you? Uh, I don't get it. It just so happens that around the time this snuff film started circulating, the Nosferatu disappeared. I tried to elicit their help in tracking down the source, and for the first time in all these years, I was dismayed by their absence. Uh, what magics do you use to summon them? Usually I just put the word out I'm looking for them, and sooner or later, they appear. Hmm. This tape hides the sewer rats from us? I assume it does. It's awfully coincidental otherwise. And those creatures. I don't know how many professional FX houses can pull those off. There's a problem, though, in that the film's incomplete. The first half is damaged. We need a complete copy. Hmm. This copy must have a twin somewhere. Behind the spit shine gloss of the Hollywood Dream Factory, there's another city churning out a vile byproduct for the furtive consumption of a debauched audience. I have no doubt the film's found its way to another smut peddler. I'd ask around. Hmm.
This tape will be found, but only after your answers seat me. Certainly. What is your true Hollywood story, Isaac Abrams? In your lifetime, unwittingly or not, you have seen an Isaac Abrams production. As the financier of 30% of American films' top 100 movies, you must have. Being the Baron of Hollywood, I can do any project I want. Hmm, what stars have revolved around you? Stewart, Lean, Hitchcock, Wilder, Holden, Dean, Scorsese, De Niro, and last but not least, Ash, my child. I remember some studio suit lost in time telling me the only thing they could use Bogart for was to move furniture. Hmm. What of this one created by fire? Ash, where do I begin? Seven years ago, I saw a casting session for what would become Negative Zero. The moment I set eyes on him, the passion of his performance, I knew he had it. All right, one moment, everybody. Okay, we're back. Yes, yes. I hadn't seen anything like him since Cliff or Dean. He had the looks, the charisma, the lure, that undefinable quality that makes a film legend. My first movie with him made him a sensation, and it also changed him. Changed? Once everyone knew who he was, I no longer did. The parties, the drinking, the sports cars, the women. One night when I came to discuss his next role, I found him nearly dead of an overdose. And I couldn't... I couldn't let him go. Hmm... He was disfigured by your kiss? I acted on impulse. I had seen so many others die before their time, but with Ash, I had a chance to prevent that fate. <laughs> and did you? <laughs> it devastated Ash. He still wanted to act, but I denied him his place in the limelight. He had to lie to his friends about his new lifestyle. He had to feed. I gave him a club, a scrap of his former glory. I did everything I could to facilitate the change. Hmm. Your kiss left a bitter taste in his veins. He feels obligated to me. I don't think he hates me. Resents me, maybe. I am his sire, and he is my child. There is a responsibility and respect inherent in that bond. Even if we are no longer the friends we were. Hmm. I wonder something else. Certainly. Sing a song of sewer rats. The Nosferatu? I pity them, but I loathe their presence. I deal with them when it's necessary. I know they're beneath my city somewhere, but only they know where. They respect my streets and I keep my politics out of their sewers. But I don't trust them by any stretch of the word. I wonder something else. Certainly. What is the texture of velvet? You've met VV, have you? Of all the kindred I know, she seems the most alive. She's still young, though, but nonetheless adept. She's not my child, but she's become like a daughter to me. Hmm. Something else. Certainly. Uh, idle hands make playthings of in your city? There is something, but it involves a gargoyle. Hmm. I can see that's got your attention. Uh, tell me of the stone one. It's taken up residence in my beloved Asian theater. It is closed now, but that's beside the point. I sent some people to evict it, and it sent them back with a few less limbs. I can't have that monster attacking kindred in my city. Hmm. How does one smash a stone? It's a walking block of stone with a taste for blood. I'd suggest whatever method doesn't result in you being eviscerated. In truth, I'd rather have it as an ally, but I doubt it's going to be chatty. Here's the key for the theater. I'll leave it up to you. Hmm. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. And kill ourselves a rock. But before we do that... Any luck? I wonder something else first. Certainly. Uh, I can know these things later. Any luck? What about, soon the hunters will make ashes to ashes? Then there is nothing I can do. Involving myself would be... No, 
I'm certain Ash will find some way out of his mess. Hmm, scared? You would be foolish not to be. Once they've got your scent, they're like murderous paparazzi. Ugh. Ashes to ashes, hunted to hunted, I know that the Baron is frightened. I don't question the difficulty of escape, but I have faith in my child. I'll say no more about this. Hmm. I wonder something else. Certainly. And later. Okay, so we had our nice little chat with the Baron. Apparently we're supposed to go deep down, underground, in the sewers to find our way to the infamous Gary. And beyond that, there is our little Asian theater here. Which we would like to check out. Rather soon. Right now, actually. I mean, a gargoyle. That just sounds like a load of fun. But that definitely sounds like something we should save for. Otherwise, there might be little juicy Scythia bits scattered everywhere. And we can't have that, can we, kids? No, we can't. So that would make everyone so sad. No, it probably wouldn't. It actually would provide great relief to all involved. But that's not the point. And we'll do that in a little bit later. Bye-bye for now.